Genius device harvests water from desert air. Certain parts of the world still lack access to safe water, but a new contraption made by a team from UC Berkeley and MIT might soon change that. The system consists of metal organic framework or MOF crystals pressed into a thin sheet and placed in a chamber between a solar absorber and a condenser plate. MOFs are a combination of organic and inorganic materials in a tightly packed matrix. Specific uses depend on the type of combination used. While some MOFs absorb gas, this particular one excels at absorbing water. The chamber is left open at night, allowing air to diffuse through the porous crystals and water to attach to its interior surface. During the day, sunlight heats up the water molecules in the MOF, turning them into vapor that then condenses and is collected below. When tested under the same conditions as arid and desert areas, the prototype managed to pull 2.8 liters of water over a 12-hour period. The device is a significant first step, but still holds much room for improvement. For now, the team is working on making it better, particularly in terms of efficiency and output. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Scientists have been looking for ways to both conserve and produce clean water. Here's some of the things they've come up with. Solar-powered computer can provide water, energy, and internet. The developers of a 15-ton solar-powered computer hope it can change the lives of millions in developing countries. The Spanish and Italian creators of the Watley machine aim to provide clean water, electricity, and connectivity. Trials have already taken place in sub-Saharan Africa, where millions live without electricity and clean water. A prototype Watley machine has been tested in rural Ghana, and developers plan more trials in Nigeria and Sudan. The final design of the solar-powered 40-meter-high, 15-ton Watley machine will be presented in July. Photovoltaic panels power an internal battery, which provides energy for a graphene-based water treatment system. The developers say the system can supply 5,000 liters of safe drinking water per day. The Wadley machine can provide wireless internet connectivity within a radius of 800 meters. Electricity created by the battery can also be used to charge electronic devices. The number of people living without electricity in sub-Saharan Africa stands at around 625 million. More than 300 million sub-Saharan Africans also lack access to clean drinking water. Wadley's creators say the machine will have a lifespan of 15 years. They hope it can have a huge social and economic impact, especially in Africa, by bringing clean water and energy to millions of the world's poorest people. New system allows longer showers, minus the guilt of wasting water and energy. With the constant droughts in California and in many other parts of the world, long hot baths are mostly a luxury. But with new technology, it might be possible to enjoy an unlimited amount of time in the shower while still saving water. A normal shower uses about 10 liters of water per minute. An average 11-minute shower usually results in 110 liters of water going down the drain. A system called Shower Loop recycles the water and sends it on a continuous loop, allowing longer showers while creating less waste. The used shower water is first collected and cleaned through filtration. A screen removes hair and other objects, sand filters out particles, activated carbon removes smells and chemicals, and UV light kills bacteria. With the water already hot to begin with, very little heat energy is needed to maintain its temperature as it loops around. After the shower, the water can either go down the drain or be reused for other things like laundry or toilet flushing. The whole design is available open source, allowing other people to build their own and improve on the system. The developers aim to create a complete household water loop in the near future to create a substantial decrease in water consumption without the need to sacrifice comfort. The United Arab Emirates wants to build a mountain to solve a drought because why not? If there's one country that likes to think big, it's the United Arab Emirates. When faced with a water shortage, the country is ditching the boring option to conserve and instead has opted to build a huge mountain for more rainfall. 
compared to the international average of 170 to 300 liters, an average United Arab Emirates resident uses 550 liters of water daily. This is especially problematic as water in the region is in very short supply due to the arid climate and naturally low rates of precipitation. The government has already turned to artificial methods. $558,000 were spent on cloud seeding in 2015. Now, 400000 is going towards funding a development plan for man-made mountains. Mountains force air to rise up into the atmosphere. There, air cools and become clouds that can then be seeded for rain. The cloud seeding can have undesirable outcomes such as too much rainfall or none at all. Due to the rain shadow effect, an artificial mountain can inhibit rainfall on one side, causing that area to become more parched. Experts from the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research in the U.S. are in the early stages of the project. A modeling study is being carried out to determine the location, height, and width of the mountain. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. A Swedish engineer has invented a method of turning sweat into drinking water to help promote a UNICEF campaign in Gothenburg, raising awareness over inadequate access to clean water. The device, dubbed the Sweat Machine, was designed by engineer and TV personality Andreas Hamar and uses technology developed by Sweden's Royal Institute of Technology and water purification company, HVR. It extracts moisture from worn clothes by spinning and heating them before using a Gore-Tex-like material to filter the resulting liquid through a purification process known as membrane distillation. A sweat-drenched t-shirt typically produces 10 milliliters of water, which the machine's inventors claim is cleaner than local tap water. UNICEF estimates that 780 million people worldwide do not have access to safe, clean drinking water.